holiday time. As you can see from the opening snippets, the weather was atrocious as we started to venture north. Um, it remained that way till around Port Macquarie, I suppose. Uh, the rest of the journey, though, to the holiday part was more overcast with scattered showers. We eventually arrived, though, um, got ourselves set up just in time for all that rain we drove past to uh, catch up and dump on us for the next couple of days. So that was fun. We went for just a standard powered site. Site number 50 was allocated to us. Nice corner site. All set up at camp at Milestone. Milestone, the Yurunga. So we've got a little thousand dollar camper van there doing its job right. Gonna make a quick trip into Kings and grab a couple of these because I left the ones that I had previously bought at home, which is pretty silly of me. It's a dog friendly park, which is good because we can bring our dog. Yeah, a little bush turkey. Well, absolutely miserable Saturday at the long weekend. Absolutely miserable. We're down here at the Bellinger River at Milestone. It's a pretty little town. It's so freaking wet. But hopefully the rain should go away late this afternoon. We should enjoy our weekend. But the dog and I, that's right, that's the dog. She's all dressed up like the way her mother dressed her. We're going to head down this path for a bit. Because it was some really dodgy weather, um, we decided to do a bit of a drive. Went to Yurunga, did the Yurunga boardwalk, then drove over to Bowerville, and um, from there we went the back way to Bellingen through some National Park State Forest areas. <laughs> Is it? A sea dragon, you reckon? Sunday we headed off to Grafen so I could catch up with my family and then Monday the sun finally came out. We rejoiced. So we celebrated by heading off to the local cafe for a bit of brekkie and then it was time to hit the beach. So the beach at Milestone is called North Beach. There's an access point to the south and you can drive to the south of the town. Um, there's an access point to the north and you can drive to the north of the town. Uh, but in between those two access points, you're not allowed to drive. That's reserved for swimmers, beachgoers, etc. I thought they've had any cars down here today. Yeah, yeah they have. things down here.
camping activity. People like they're camping over there. Of course, you've got the Bellingen and the Kalang rivers that merge pretty much where that boat is out there now. Squirrels out here to the ocean. It's a beautiful spot. I'm surprised it's not more popular. Lily, you're a drowned puppy dog, aren't you? Had a bit of fun out on the beach. Passenger seat, I'll give the wife a drive out on the beach. Apparently, it looks like I'm giving her a drive unless it is because I'll give her a couple of tips, you know, so she doesn't get bogged and embarrass herself. So right at the northern end of North Beach, there's a cute little creek on that over there and you've got this little tiny little rock face we're going to climb up and have a look at. So way up there it looks like an island that's come off the coast but it's not. I believe that's Southwest Rocks, which you can see from here, which is pretty cool. down there playing golf. Day. It's just coming on high tide. Thought we'd come down and have a crack at a little fish and try and enjoy our last day here with the sun. And that was pretty much our holiday. Last night we relaxed around the campfire and um, packed up next day and headed home. All right, Leo, let's go. Bye, everybody. Did you dump the rubbish? Yep. Said all your goodbyes. Yep. Done all that. Yep. Alright, well we're out of here. Fishing gear strapped on. I don't think we need to tell them, do we? No. They'll work it out. Enough, Lily. Yeah, right. I'm just going to get one more bark in. 